What's up everyone? There is a new way to unlock your iPhone 4 and 4S very easily courtesy of the SAM jailbreak package. First you will open up Cydia and you will need a jailbroken iPhone 4S and I'm going to add a package. This is where you will download the SAM jailbreak package that is necessary to do this. You will go into your manage tab, go to sources, and then you will hit edit, add, and you will need to type in repo dot b i n g n e r dot com and you will add the source. I've already added, added the source. If you get any error, just select OK and then try downloading it once again. Now you will open up the Bingner source and you will locate SAM. Select SAM and then go ahead and install this package. Now your downloading stats may be a little bit lower than mine. That, that's only because you may have some of these already installed, which is perfectly fine. Just go ahead and confirm. Once it's installed, you will see SAM prefs on your home screen. Just go ahead and respring. Now after it's resprung, you will head into your home screen. It will most likely be on your last page. Locate SAM prefs. Then you will open up SAM prefs. And once you've got that open, head into the more information tab and you should see activation state. And this will be either activated or unactivated. It doesn't really matter which one it is. What you want to do now is go into the utilities and you want to deactivate the iPhone. And then you'll select deactivate iPhone. Now once you've deactivated, you will want to head back into the more information to make sure that the activation state says unactivated. And you'll want to make sure that says unactivated. Now you will want to copy your SIM's ISMI number. Just tap and select all and copy. Go down to SIM details to the IMSI number. Since I have a Sprint iPhone, I do not have an IMSI number. But for this, you will most likely have a SIM card, so copy that. Just select it and then hold your finger down and then you will select all and then select copy. Once you've done that, you can head back out to the SAM main page and now you'll want to pop out your, your SIM card either with a small paper clip or this SIM ejector tool and then you will need to grab your new SIM card and slide that into your iPhone. Now once you've got that SIM card in there you will see searching in the upper left hand corner which is perfectly fine. So what we want to do now is go to the main screen of SAM prefs and select method. Method is right here underneath, underneath enabled. Select that and you will need to select by country and carrier. Head back out now you will need to select your country. In this case, I am in the United States. And then after that, you will select the new carrier, the one that you just inserted into your iPhone. In this case, most people would be T-Mobile USA. Once you're done with all that, you will need to go to your more information section once you've done that you will need to locate SAM details right here 
Select the IMSI number underneath SAM details. Now let's back up one, one step. In this section, you will need to select Spoof Real Sim to SAM first, then select OK. Once you've done that, you will need to locate the SAM details down here, and you will need to select All, and then you will paste your old SIM card ISMI number in there. So. Once you've done that, you will go back to the main screen and head back to Utilities and select Attempt Activation, which would be underneath Activation Utilities. If this was successful, you will see a black screen that looks like it has resprung your device. Now once your lock screen comes back up, Head back over to SAM Prefs and find Enabled under Subscriber Artificial Module and toggle that off. Here's Enabled, you will toggle that off. Now you'll be completely finished with SAM Prefs and you will now need to head over to your computer and plug in your iPhone to, your, uh, to iTunes. iTunes will come up with a box that says that it has failed to activate your iPhone. Just uh, take your 30 pin connector and plug it into your iPhone. And when, I, when iTunes obviously finds your phone, it will say that it failed to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, that's a good sign. Wait a minute or so until you see your new carrier in the upper left hand corner. If you still see a searching sign, you may need to plug and unplug from the computer two or three times, so don't worry. Now, once you've got your phone unlocked, there is an easy way to revert back to your old carrier if you want to. To do that, you will need to pop out your new SIM card and replace it with your old SIM card and then go through the plugging and unplugging your phone from iTunes until your old carrier comes back up in the upper, upper left hand corner and again you might you will get that little red iTunes error box which is okay and eventually you will get service again and it really isn't it really is that simple so, let me know what you think in the comment section down below if this worked for you. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button above and hit the thumbs up button down below if you like this video. Thanks for watching. This is Paul. God bless.